It's so good to be with you again uh, today and just to be able to continue sharing with you about the reasons why you can have confidence in your heart in the midst of the present storm that's touching our generation. And indeed, it is a storm. A lot of people are afraid. A lot of young people in particular don't see a, a reason for hope in, in tomorrow because it's such a difficult time, such a season of storms that you and I are now living in. Let me read to you again from Psalm 46, the words of the psalmist where he says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. The psalmist, I think, foresaw a day when everything that could be shaken would be shaken. The Bible says that that's going to happen in the last days. The only thing that can't be shaken is the presence of God inside of my life because God is eternal. God is all-powerful. God is all-knowing. God is faithful. And the presence of God in my life, when I came to, Jesus, to Him through Jesus Christ, His Son, and when His Holy Spirit came to take up residence inside this earthen body, has given me the confidence to withstand whatever storms I'm going to have to face. He has everything under control. As a matter of fact, He says in the Word of God that everything that is allowed in my life is working together for a divine purpose. All things work together for good to those who love God and are the called according to His purpose. If you're a believer in Christ today, you are called according to the purpose of God. He has a divine purpose for you. And everything that's coming into your life, every place you go, every building you live in, every place you work, everything has a divine purpose. And that purpose, of course, at its, at its peak, is that He might be glorified through you and that others might come to the knowledge that there is a God in whom they can trust in the season of their own storms. The psalmist goes on to say, there's a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. And God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. See, there's this stream of life that comes from Christ. Jesus himself said, whoever believes in me, said in the Gospel of John, out of his inner parts shall flow a river of living water. The stream of God is God's literal presence, and his promises being fulfilled inside of your life and through your life. It's a strength that only comes from God, and it produces a gladness in your heart, especially when your value system is about others and not about yourself only. I thank God for the privilege of reaching out around us right now to people who are afraid, people who might, you might run into in the corner store, or maybe when you're out trying to get some groceries or going to work if you still can. We have something to say. We have a stream inside. And the Bible says it makes us glad. And it gives us strength. It gives us a voice. And we are able to calm the storm in the hearts and minds of people all around us. What a great privilege it is to be alive in this generation. What a great privilege to serve God. What a great privilege to be able to love people. Or may I put it this way? to let Jesus Christ through us love them. Make yourself available today to the Spirit of God. Ask for the help that you need and I need to live outside of our own concerns. Ask for the eyes to see somebody around you that's in need or to hear the groanings of somebody else's heart that maybe only God knows about. But remember, God lives inside of you. So ask Him for the ability to hear and then start moving with Him and watch the confidence that will come into your heart. I want to encourage you to have a great day today. Oh yes, on the outside it's fearful and there's a lot of trials all around us. I get that. But you can still have a great day in God. So let that be your testimony. See you tomorrow.